Well, welcome back everybody. We're just uh, getting ready to get started on Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 here at Canada Cup 2014. I'm Cody, and I'm here with Bay Rudy. How's it going, my friend? Yes. When is Marvel? It is time now. Yes, finally. Marvel. This is really the highlight of any given weekend is the Marvel Tournament. The game's getting old, so which is nice actually because then the low tier heroes have kind of figured their stuff out. There's a lot of like kind of crappy characters running around right now, yeah. doing some damage. Chun Li, I don't think we'll have any of them here no. this week, but I've been <laughs> noticing a lot of guys playing Chun Li lately. No, I've been actually looking at the the Marvel's Capcom Reddit, and we've been seeing a lot of Chun Li. I mean, Ray Ray has kind of like a side yeah. Chun Li, and he's yeah, been with his uh, Chun Li Taskmaster yeah. team, I think. Some good good stuff going on, and we were just yeah. watching some players from Edmonton play, and we had some, uh, some yeah. low tier heroes. So I yeah, hope they make their way on stream here for you guys. Yeah, Edmonton, but they got some high tier stuff over there too. Like I guess their one player. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he's playing Wolverine and Point Wolverine team with Trish. Oh, that's right, yes. So he'll hit you with Wolverine, go into the Trif Trish Infinite, build up a whole bunch of bars, throw out a round trip, and then Wolverine just to go nuts on you, like with yeah. the mix ups and all that type of thing. So hopefully you get to see some of that. Trish, a little bit of an underused character. We had uh, we have that player here from Canada. Oh, uh, uh, Disgruntled Goa. Dis Disgruntled Goa, yes, and he has an amazing Trish. And, yes. Uh, you know, she's just not a character you see too, too often, but the people no. who really have mastered her uh, really found some, some great tech. So. Yeah, yeah there, there's uh, Green Ace down in Florida there, does yeah. some really nice stuff with Trish. Yeah, and of course, K-Brad used to play her quite a bit. Yeah. Looks like we got Shiro versus uh, Stugga here. Stugga, ooh, playing a Point Morgan team. It's Team Chris G. Team Chris G, exactly. Yeah. Very cheap. It's Morgan's a very technical character, but I find her game plan is pretty easy to execute because what you want to do is just fill the entire screen with as many fireballs as you possibly can and abuse the ridiculous priority in all of her normals, like the shell kick. Her crouching jab's pretty crazy too, but managed to bully his way in. Wesker gets a hit. Yeah, and I'm very interested in his team right now. Doesn't seem like he has very much of a neutral assist. He's just got oh. Captain America coming in with a shield charge. I've never really seen this before. Yeah, Look at that. It's not a bad assist, actually. It's got decent priority. It's kind of like uh, shield slash is an assist. But Cap, otherwise, in the oh. second spot, doesn't do too Did much. Did you Ooh. see that? Yeah, that was a nice, really good anti air hitbox there. The C. Oh, oh he caught it, but traded with the Helmbreaker. Thugga here with some new stuff that I've never seen before. Using that Captain America assist. Oh, he tried to go for the sneaky overhead there. X Factor cancel, the Phantom Dance, an inch off the ground into the S, but. Virgil saw it coming, oh. and no! And this is where it all starts, Cody. Yeah. What do we okay, got here? cross oh. up. Oh, he fell with the button, and he hit Virgil. Oh, cross up. Okay, nothing. Oh, a little him? too soon. He no, did, too! Yeah. No X Factor to pick up off it, though. Oh, oh, the stutter step into the cartwheel. Caught him with so the combo good. extender in neutral. That was <laughs> quite impressive, Cody. I, I don't know. All right, let, let's see. Good stuff by, by Stugga here. Showing us some new stuff that I've never seen before. Yeah, this time he's got to try and get a lot more mileage out of his Morgan this time, but he's not quite as clean with his uh, flight cancels as he needs to be. Yeah. Well, yeah. Although a very strong character, you know, Morgan, very execution heavy. Oh, and you, very execution you gotta heavy. you got to have really, really good spacing on top of that. So. Yeah, that, yeah, see, when he's just letting himself fall down like that after the fireball, like that's extremely unsafe. you got to make sure you're unfly canceling all your fireballs. Oh, look at that. Wesker teleports to the combo. And he's just inching his way in and oh, he gets a hit. Oh, that's not the right combo, though. Oh, and because oh, he's got Deadpool picks up both. Okay. Yes. So smart. Yeah, I like it because Wesker's gunshot only can pick up one character, but because he's got that assist, he got to kill almost both characters here. He should be yeah, able to kill Doom's him gonna go down for oh. free. Oh no, he hit him before the shield came back. A little too early there. Yeah, it was actually, uh, Stugga left a little bit of damage on the table there. When Deadpool picked up both characters like that, the better move would have been to go for the wall bounce, and then right. pop him up, because he would have got much more damage out of his super. So now, a pixel Doom managed to kill Captain America, and he goes for a very uh, same side mix up. He's gonna kill him with chip here, yeah, and he just gets it. Now let's see what incoming mix up he has oh, here. Oh, the corpse hop, and then he had the hit, but he didn't confirm it. Oh, oh that had command grab written all over it. Both players dropping some combos here. Yeah, it's, we got a X Factor 2 Deadpool, though. This is actually a pretty good character. He's very quick, can kill off a touch. Yeah, that's uh, the solo teleport, like mix ups like that. Oh, oh there he goes. Ooh, slides. Didn't get punished for it. Virgil just about out of X Factor here, but yeah. it seems like Stugga ends up getting his hit. And can he close it out here? 
going to take. No, he's no, going to have to go for some chip damage here. So the match. Oh, oh no. wow. Okay. The, the last bullet taking it. Oh, and he does so that level fabulous. three. So fabulous. Great. One <laughs> runway model walk there. He is styling for us. All right. Let's go. We're off to game three. Stugga looking strong. Yeah. He's managing to bully his way in with Wesker really well. Look, he gets underneath the fireballs there. Ooh. And that Captain America assist puts you like all the way into the corner. And again, just a happy birthday. Exactly how the last round uh, you know, turned out. Gets yeah. both the characters. Still not using his wall bounce in the combo though. Oh. Okay. He wanted to make sure he knew he was out of range for the shield charge. Yeah, and he's actually got kind of a favorable matchup right now against uh, Morgan with no doom. Oh, and he decides to save. Okay. I don't know about that decision there. He should be able to finish him off. Oh, oh. not like that he won't. Oh, oh, and then again with the combo extender neutral. So the Hellbreaker got oh. punished by an OTG gunshot, so Stugga takes it with this very unconventional team. And we were we just started talking about low tier heroes and like yeah. unconventional teams.